Hi, this is Craig Lane with the video blog, week 38. Mm. This week, it's a couple of simple ones for the next few weeks, but there'll be a little bit of a common theme. Um, I'm leading a large intestine cleanse every three months. This seems I lead a cleanse, and it's about 10 people in the group. And there's this thing that's coming up in me more and more last few months or years about the question of thrive foods versus tolerance foods and what foods help us thrive and what foods are we just tolerating and what are outright poisons because there's some, kind of all three there's probably a category of neutral too and, and then there's other things you know, as far as food you know are we tolerating emotionally are we thriving emotionally are we is our heart in what we're doing are we tolerating what we're doing in our job, our career? Are we thriving in it? And you know, the argument could be made based on my observation that most of us are tolerating or outrightly suffering because of either what we've created or what we've decided to just hold on to. And some of that's diet. So there's certain foods we tolerate, and there's some that we can thrive on, and Good example for me, it's, it's a fairly late evening, um, and this is an example of a Thrive food for me, just through self-discovery and exploration, you know, willingness to try things out is part of finding what helps us thrive. And for me, there's some key attributes um, that were given to me from Michael McAvoy, a nutritionist friend and metabolic typing expert. So more like something to think about about an hour after we eat, how's our energy levels? Or are they higher or lower than what we ate? And this is all things we equal. We didn't overeat also because overeating will lower our energy faster than a lot of other things due to the fact that the blood's down in the gut more than we have less up here. Hence the argument for the meditators or the yogis, you know, you don't eat a very light diet because then a lot of your energy is... If these centers are open, you know, that leads to some higher states of consciousness and what kinds of other things that I couldn't say, you know, but th that's thriving. You know, they know what they want and they're going for it. And that's kind of the way it is with our diet too. I had a toleration diet as an athlete in my about age 31, age 30, I went to a macrobiotic institute to study the Cushy Institute and I was gone for seven months back in New England. And I was on basically a vegan diet with a little bit of fish supplement on the weekend. Um, I was cooked there, but I didn't have too much choice in what was being, you know, it was a macrobiotic institute after all. Dairy was kind of out of the question, you know, not even butter, which is something that I thrive on. Um, so then there was this question of low energy and poor digestion and basically like a lot of stagnant chi and what I would identify now as like spleen damp and stagnation in the lymphatic spleen pancreas system and earth element stagnation. So I was tolerating barely, you know, and, fairly uh, on the downs were there was a lot of fascination with death and I wouldn't call it a morbid thing I just call it a you know more interested in another reality versus the one I was in sort of disassociated escapism in a way and again it was because I was tolerating and now you know more of a thrive diet which wouldn't necessarily be a thrive diet for someone else you know but there's this it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm doing a video blog because I'm motivated and, and so As a snack, some chia seeds, which I find are, for me, you know, I wish I could do grain. I'd love to have a big bowl of brown rice right now with butter, but I wouldn't have as much energy. Maybe if I just ate a little bit of it, perhaps, there's an argument for that. So the point of the video blog today is basically, how's our energy takeaway, you know, from our conversation? How's our energy about an hour after we eat? And think about emotionally after we eat, you know, who are we with and what are we going through emotionally or on a feeling sensation level. level. And then also, um, you know, are our emotions cleaner? Are we feeling instead of emoting? Because often we're emoting, I've been informed lately, um, that when we're emoting, we're actually reacting to a thought. So if we're reacting to a thought, then there's going to be distortions in a sense, and ripples on the pond. If awareness is a silent pond, you know, mirror or pure sky, then, you know, whatever passes through it is the ripple, and we perceive that in various ways, and emotions sort of like that. Um, I've sat 
enough to know that when we sit, this uncaused joy permeates and it, we just get a little further from it when we're in CR or consensual reality. But I've been learning more and more recently about fluidity and that's the sort of the path of the shaman, you know, just being clear through all levels of awareness and perception and dimension. But it's, um, there's a lot of, you know, there's stuff for each of us to work out. Obviously those theatrical dramas have their own value as I've seen in my own life. So, you know, it's okay to tolerate. It's okay to thrive. It doesn't really, you know, it's all just judgment anyways in the end because it's our experience and it is what it is. And, you know, we're sort of got all the pieces in it. And so Thrive versus Tolerance, Craig Lane, week, video blog, week 38. Week 39 will be sort of be a continuation of the same thought process because it's basically coming right afterwards.